to my channel science for mankind today i am going to configure a wireless router here in my case it is a tp link brand and the model number is tp link ac1350 wi-fi router or tp link archer c60 i buy it from amazon with moderate price so you can buy it from amazon or flipkart or from local store also now at first uh, unbox your tp link router then power it on uh, there are two band in this router one is 5 gigahertz band and another is 2.4 gigahertz band uh, it has another facility it is dual band as well as mu mi mo mode that means you can connect your multiple device with this router and access both the band simultaneously that means whether you can connect 2.4 gigahertz at the same time you can connect 5 gigahertz wi-fi uh, in your devices now at first uh, all the antennas are to be set in their position and from your local service provider broadband there is a, an ethernet port from the <coughs> optical fiber then insert this ethernet port to the uh, blue color ethernet port in this router now this uh, feeds the internet to the uh, wi-fi router now you must set up this router or configure this router to do this you can either connect your LAN port from the router to your laptop or since it is a Wi-Fi router just connect the Wi-Fi um, to your laptop if you have not any laptop then you can configure this router with uh, the Archer TP Link Archer app from your smartphone also it's very easy and same as that of in case of the laptop or computer that means uh, PC or your laptop so here you can see that there is a two Wi-Fi band TP link 163e 5G that means it is 5.0 gigahertz and another is TP link 163e that means it is 2.4 gigahertz band so I want to connect this band so just click connect require some time and connect successfully okay you can see the 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi band is now connected to my laptop okay now open any uh, browser whether it is Google Chrome or Firefox or anything else and in the address bar you can type 192.168.0.1 it is the <coughs> default page by TP link uh, Wi Fi router. Now close this. Now here you can set uh, the administrator password for the first time login. So this is the password. Here it is uh, from that uh, 1 to 38 character, alphanumeric character that means A to Z and 0 to 9 and symbol also it includes symbol excluding space that means uppercase lowercase number and special character are allowed so uh, it's very important to remember this password because after that you are unable to reset this password to reset this part of password you can uh, only one option to reset your uh, wi-fi router manually okay so please remember this password or write it down in your diary i am just create a password strong password okay it shows high that means security is 
hi now type this same password okay and click on let's get started never now please select time zone now this is uh, india kolkata so plus 530 gmt now search for plus 530 gmt now here is 530 madras kolkata bombay new delhi so gmt plus 530 gmt select this and click on next now select your connection type if you are not sure please click auto detect now whether it is dynamic ip or static ip or this 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 for cable dsl broadband connection which makes your computer immediately online without any setting or singing so i am um, select static ip so you must put your ip address subnet mask default gateway preferred dns alternate dns etc provided by your serv internet service provider or isp okay now click on next now put all the details given by your internet service provider or broadband service provider okay so i just put my data
here so you can select either 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz i am select 5 gigahertz and connect uh, check this kind of only and click on connect now you put the password so put the password set just early before click on next okay it is connected now click on next it is very fast uh, actually it takes few seconds so uh, at the bottom you can see there is uh, two QR codes so you just um, scan this QR code to connect on this network so save picture you can also save picture and just take a printout and paste this QR code on your wall so whether uh, a friend of yours come to your home and to connect I want to connect to your uh, Wi-Fi so there is no need to uh, uh, put on your password just scan this QR code and he is or she is connected to your Wi-Fi networks so I just save this picture and also save this picture also okay now here congratulations network set up successfully enjoy the internet so uh, you can log in by giving your email and password or if you <coughs> new in tp link just create an id by registering yourself in the uh, by clicking this register now button or login letter so i just click in login letter so if you have completed the quick setup process you are not logged into your tp link id you can log in letter from basic then select tp link cloud okay now click finish okay now you can see the wired connection is nothing zero and wireless connection client is one that means uh, one pc that means in case uh, my uh, laptop is connected to uh, the <coughs> uh, wireless and this is 5 gigahertz and this is 2.4 gigahertz okay now if you click on internet then all the details i just filled up is shown here okay now click on wireless so here from here you can also edit your SSID name and password for the two wireless bands and there is more option parental control guest network or in network map there is uh, or in internet mm, there is uh, in the advanced option there is another option okay operation mode network internet LAN IPTV DHCP, DHCP server dynamic DNS etc or advanced routing so uh, configuration is now complete now I just disconnect this Wi-Fi and put the LAN cable to my network and see whether it is working or not laptop and you can see on the bottom tp link bs5 gigahertz internet access okay that means internet is available now check this now click on hotstar now you can see that page is loaded and content uh, is showing successfully that means TP-Link Archer C60 Wi-Fi 12 band router configuration is now complete. So by this, by following this 